What's going on? Coach Josh here from Colossus Fitness. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to use the ab machine to get better results you can work towards that six pack. So first and foremost, keep in mind, if you're here and you're doing these, that's fantastic that you're training, you're working your abs. The best way to achieve a six pack is through proper diet, planning, and actually making sure you are in a deficit to make sure you reveal those abs. And once again, this can help with having them pop out ever so slightly, but you can do these until you're black and blue. You may not necessarily get a six pack. If you wanna learn more about working with me one-on-one -on -one to get your guaranteed six pack, I will get you there within six months, absolutely guaranteed. Make sure to fill out that first link, check out more of what I do. I have 4,000 transformations for a reason. Now let's jump right into it though. So if you are looking to do this movement, it's a great way to get started with some form of ab training, especially if you are a little heavier and you're not as comfortable doing body weight movements, this can be a great way to start. So one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is start a little bit on the lighter end. Naturally, you're gonna wanna think, if I do this full stack, I'm gonna have ripped abs, just like this guy, Coach Josh, right here. But once again, if you wanna to get to this point, like I said, compositional change will be key. But as I've said, you can get some more bulk, some more development out of the abs. They're just like another muscle, so training them will be effective. So start a little light, learn to do this properly. So the big gripe I have with this movement is people will load it up, and they'll be using their arms, they'll be using the force of their chest, they'll just be doing everything they can to complete a rep. This is wrong. Instead, first things first, of course, is our setup. You wanna make sure this is about right. All the way up would be if you're really short. All the way down would be if you're super, super tall. If you're somewhere in between, you'll be in the middle. And if you're anywhere else, you can kind of play with it and see what feels best. But as we get into the movement here, you wanna put your spine nice and back. You wanna be ready to pull forward through your abs. So we're actually crunching through the abs. We're not using anything else. Legs are tucked in. And when I actually start to wrap, I'm gonna make sure I'm lifting up these legs and pushing into my stomach to crunch. So as you can see, I'm getting a nice full crunch, crunching through those abs, they're engaged. Now from here, it's really easy to just do this and bang these out all day with my arms. Look, I'm not even using my abs. I probably look ridiculous, but you wanna avoid this. Instead, you wanna focus on squeezing those abs, and this is where you're gonna get a lot of the movement on the negative here. So you're gonna stretch out those abs. You can see I'm shaking, crunch again. It's a different beast here, even though I'm using a light weight. Crunch again. So get that negative, make sure you're getting a nice stretch before the machine locks out, because if you go too far back, it'll pop you down. So once again, I'm coming up, crunching into those abs, letting them get that negative. I'm going before the weight clangs and we're out of control. This is where it's killing me, I'm shaking. Crunch into the machine once again. The best way to perform this crunch is keeping those legs nice and tucked. Imagine you're pulling in from those abs. So I'm actually crunching my abs. If you actually were to do a crunch on your back, we'd be doing it like this. So keep those arms out of the movement, grab on, but don't use them to actually force the machine down. Once again, here's the difference in the arms. I'm getting nothing. It looks like I'm a hero, but instead of keeping that back, back, crunching in, coming up, you can see I'm gonna get way more out of this movement. It's incredibly simple, but that difference will determine whether you actually develop your abs or not. But once again, if you want a six pack, look at these transformations I've done here on the screen. I wanna do that for you. First link, no pressure. You can learn more about what I do as a coach, as an online coach, and no matter what equipment you have, your expertise level, where you are in the world, I will take care of you and get you fantastic results. So thanks for tuning in today. If this helped you. Make sure to smash like, get out there, crush it. I'll see you on the other side with a six pack.